Well, hello there. It's that time again. Yes, it is. It is time for our weekly tarot and astrology reading here on the second day of the new year. Yay, January the 2nd of 2022. And as usual, I am going to go over some Tarot de Marseille tarot cards that I drew at random for upcoming week, followed by some astrology. And as always, it's going to be interesting. Okay, in a moment, three Tarot de Marseille trump cards are going to come onto the screen and cover my face. The cards I drew for this week's reading from random uh, from the CBD Tarot are the Star, the Devil, and the Hanged Man. Ooh, it looks kind of rough, doesn't it? But it's really not. Let me explain. The Lady of the Star is pointing towards the left, facing towards the left, the direction of the past. She's pouring out two cups of water. She is stripped naked with these stars above her. So she is inspired by the stars. She is pouring out water, pouring out perhaps emotions, fears, inhibitions, hang-ups, maybe situations. She's getting rid of everything that is holding her back from the past. In doing this, she avoids the mockery, the temptation of the devil, okay? The cups, if she held them, would have become like the two slaves that are chained to the pedestal of the devil. And then in turn, the situation would become even more dire as the two people and the two cups would become the two poles from which the hangman is hung. So the longer we hold on to things that don't suit us, the more they can hang us up. That's a good theme for our upcoming week. It's a good theme for our upcoming year. Time to let go of that awful 2021. And it's time to go ahead, turn our back on negativity, and march forward into our future. I don't like to do grand readings for the upcoming year. Uh, nobody tends to remember them. I, I find it rather pointless. I like to stick to the week. But of course, the larger world is contained within the little. Okay, as above, so below, so our week sort of expresses and is a seed for our upcoming year to come. So this is a time to release, let go, and not be hung up on things. So now we look at our astrology, and the astrology is nice. We have a waxing moon. Yes, we have a new moon. Yay! New moon today, 1.34 p.m., and new moons are characterized by new beginnings, new energy, new insight, new ways of doing things. And the moon begins to grow in strength. The moon is a communicator of planetary energy to the earth, the mediator. So this is a time for manifestation. This is a time for magic to make things grow, whether it's money, love, creativity, new situations things that you need or want to have in your life, this next couple of weeks will be the time to focus on them. Now we have a couple of days that are particularly strong with the days that the planetary rulers rule being a good aspect to those planets. The moon is a good aspect to Mars and a sextile aspect on this coming Tuesday. So this would be a good time for defensive magic, gaining energy, working on mechanical things, okay, uh, speeding things up perhaps, forcefully pushing things through. This would be a good time for this on Tuesday. And then the other day that's really strong is Saturday. We have the moon and sextile beneficial aspect to Saturn. Saturn rules old people. Saturn rules chronic conditions and also housing. So if you need to manifest housing, if you need to manifest uh, something that's going to benefit an older person in your life. Or if you're older, if you're over 62, 63 years old, you need good luck, you need good mojo, whatever you want to call it. This Saturday would be a good day for ritual, meditation, visualization to bring that about. So this is a very exciting time, a new year, a new moon, and I'm all for it. Okay, there you go. There is your weekly tarot and astrology reading. 
I appreciate you. I love you. I thank you so much for watching this weekly blog. And until I see you next week, many, many blessings.